Portland, Oregon is a city of creatives, musicians, and diehard food freaks. It's a safe haven for free spirits and ground zero for hyper-local, ingredient-focused cooking in America. Gregory Gourdet, the executive chef at Departure, gathered chefs and purveyors from all over the Pacific Northwest to cook in collaborative dinners and experience the bounty that the Portland scene has to offer. Chef's Week PDX was a meeting of the minds and the bellies. Best week so far in 2014. Thank you, Chef PDX. Chef's Week 2014, the snow didn't fucking stop anything. Chefs came from Vancouver to Seattle and the outskirts of Oregon to serve up one epic weekend of eating. Instead of being walled off in sterile little white tents like some other food fests, Gourdet organized Chef's Week so that both the cooks and the diners were able to create a real sense of community. The chefs lived and worked together, and each night there were beer-addled after parties where food lovers could socialize with the folks fueling the local scene. But I think one of the biggest things is the camaraderie between everybody and then being able to actually go out and meet the diners that are in this city. The enthusiasm of like meeting other chefs and cooking with each other and you know even sharing ideas and, and, and learning. If we don't communicate with each other and that's what these events are about, and we don't talk about the technique and we don't say, yeah, I'll give you this recipe or give you that recipe, then we, we all fail. I met my new brother 2014, Chef's Week. In Portland, the craft and the ingredients drive the experience. And Chef's Week PDX is a place where you can break bread with a passionate purveyor like Nikki USA, who provided the water buffalo for the final dinner at Departure. Or chop it up with the butchers making serious Alsatian-style sausages inside the kitchens at Olympic Provisions. Maybe even crack open a Portland craft beer with a barista at 11 a.m., all the while sifting through the in-house vinyl collection. Screw the snow and the freezer burn. It's all happening here, and with heart. While the rest of the city shut down for the most punishing snowstorm they'd seen in over five years, the chefs fired soulful dishes that repped their hometown. Five inches of powder could have been a buzzkill, but at the first annual Chef's Week, hardcore eaters came out in droves to Ava Jean's, Paley's Place, Castagna, and Departure. Diners feasted on inspired dishes made from the best of the Northwest. Sweet, buttery hazelnuts, sultry dark chocolate, world-class olive oils, vibrant and verdant as the Columbia River Gorge itself, rich roasted coffees, sea salt tempered by the taste of the crisp Northwestern air, earthy, woodsy Willamette Valley wine, and truffles on truffles on truffles. But what's more is that these 21 cooks from totally different backgrounds were sharing ideas, swapping recipes, inspiring each other with their collective knowledge of a lifetime of cooking, making friends, experiencing the bounty of Portland's artisan food scene, and drinking a ton of fernet. The city seemed even more alive in the snow. And I now know it's more than just fixies and tattoos and juicing. Okay, well there's some of that too. But people in Portland take pride in what others might see as mundane. Where else does someone hand draw a business card like they do at Courier? Or turn something as simple as street cart chicken and rice into the most mind-bending, soul-hugging dish like it knocks? There's soul here. You can taste it. Sip in the sights, the smells, the sounds. Lock eyes with the community, and then you'll see. You can't damper this city's spirit. Even in a snowpocalypse, Portland prevails. 